Welcome back to another light review. I've got the Jetbeam K002 in for review. I assume that's how it's pronounced. This is quite an interesting little light because it's a compact EDC, but it's using a 21700 battery, which should give us a quite a nice capacity on the cell. I'll run over the box just to give you a few features on this one. Range of around 270 meters, five power levels, We've also got the option you can use other size batteries with this as well. This is the user guide and warranty card. I'll put the user guide on the screen a bit later in the video for you. Bundled items with this, you get the low profile wrist strap, which is branded Jetbeam, spare O-ring. They use the red O-rings on the Jetbeams that I've looked at. And you also get this uh, type C cable to type A. It does have another socket on the side, but you can't use this as a power bank. Onto the size and a quick look at the light. This is pretty compact for a torch of this type. It's just going to be a little bit more girth than some of the other 18650s that I've looked at due to the bigger battery, but it does feel very nicely made. Just open up the Type C port cover. Just make sure you push that back into place firmly to get the full water resistance. You do have a power level indicator with this, and that stays on all the time that the light is on, but I don't find it too annoying because it's not that bright. For the LED, we've got an XHP35, very popular, and a smooth reflector. I do like the stainless steel bezel on this torch. You've also got the AR coating, which helps with the light transmission. So a very nice solid build with those flat edges, gives it a bit of anti-roll as well. Decent bit of knurling on the base or tail cap. There's no magnet in this, so just to let you know on that, we'll give that an unscrew just to check out the battery. This particular cell is a protected 21700 and they're quoting a capacity of 4000 milliamp hour. But I'll do a little test on that in a while and we'll see what the actual capacity is. Spring on the inside and we've also got a spring on the base or tail cap. So that means that we've no problems at all using the flat top cells and I'll show you an 18650. Just drop that in. Due to the fact that the 18650s don't have as large a diameter as the 21700s, there is a bit of space. But the good news is once you've tightened it up, there isn't any rattle unless you are shaking it really hard so it holds it in place firmly. So you don't really have to bother with a spacer or an adapter with this. Being able to use three different types of battery is a definite advantage for a torch like this, particularly with the larger capacity 20 and 21700 cells. So I'm very pleased to see that. Moving over to the user interface, a short press turns it on and just about half a second will turn it off. Once the light's on, all you need to do is just single press to cycle through the five power levels. Unfortunately, there is no mode memory on this for some reason. Not exactly sure why. And there's the lockout. Long press on the switch gives you a double flash and then you can double press it again to unlock it. We have one strobe mode on this light and to access that you can do it from either the on or off position. Just give it a double press and then a single press will return to the last level. So pretty simple user interface. I wish there was a shortcut to the eco or lowest output. Quick comparison next to the Nightcore EC30 which is a compact 18650 light and it's not that much bigger to be honest. The girth is a little bit wider and it's a bit taller but they're both very pocketable these particular lights. Onto the user guide, put that on the screen for you. It's a pretty simple torch to use, but you can have a look at that if you want to. Battery capacity test, it came in at 4832 milliamp hour, which is quite a lot higher than the wrap indicated. Not exactly sure why there's such a difference like that. Red flashing is charging and that turns to green when it's finished. Didn't see any problems with this with the water resistance test that I did. Moving on to the shots outside, we'll start off at the turbo 1800 lumen level and it's a mixed beam pattern on this. The candela is slightly higher than some of the lights that I've looked at and I'll drop it down through some of the power levels to show you. So you're going to get a bit more range out of this than you will do out of the EC30, which I will show you on the screen now. They're not that much difference, but the hotspot is a bit smaller in the jet beam light and that would obviously explain the range. So we'll do a few more shots now and then I'll come back with some thoughts at the end.
quite liked using the jet beam. It wasn't a torch which I expected to like that much, but there are some things which I don't like. The most obvious disadvantage with this is the fact there's no memory setting for the last power level or a shortcut to the lowest output. That means it's always going to come on the highest mode and I'm not particularly keen on that myself. Also the spacing could be a bit more even and I would have dropped that eco level down a little bit to maybe sort of five lumens or under. On the upside though, it does feel very nice in the hand. Nice switch design, you've got a choice of three batteries and I do like to see the newer Type-C charging port just feels more durable than the micro USB ones. Despite the flaws, I do still quite like this. If you have any thoughts on it, do leave a comment below and thanks very much for watching.